that is just ticking every box I need from a sandwich. Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. This is a very, very special review here in Rome because uh, I believe we have Rome's heart on a plate. Come and have a look at this. We're at the Angry Pig, very famous. Porchetta shop. Have a look inside there, Callum. Iconic little place. And we've even got the audience there. Mm. Come say hello. <laughs> no pressure, but before we crack on with this review, we've got a sponsor, The Meat Man. If you need any meat delivering to your house, think of it like Amazon, but for meat. They are the place to go, The Meat Man. Go and check it out. Use the code FRC10. You can enjoy a 10% discount on us now. Let's get on with the review. Shout out to my boy Jazz from Poor Boys for sending me this recommendation. When that man speaks, you listen. Trust me on that. Now, Callum, these little beauties here, we've already experienced some stunning flavors, particularly in the baking department whilst here in Rome. It seems like the bread baking game here is leagues ahead. Because you've got that crispy outer coating with super soft uh, bake in the middle, it's just fantastic. It just works in your mouth. Whatever you put in it, you could put in some old socks and it would taste nice. Um, let alone this famous porchetta, slow roasted, skin on, loin of pork. Um, the city's famous for it. How do you say it again? Undua. 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 So we've got Undua in here. Said it right. Yes, come on. Um, spicy, spreadable sausage and sun dried tomatoes. Hell of a combo. I'm excited for this one, bro. Um, here we go then. Not overpowering with the meat. Got a nice little bit in there. Here we go. Jesus Christ, it is good. This is so good. The spicy spreadable sausage in Duya. <laughs> I'm, le <clears throat> I'm learning. Brings this smoky flavor to everything. That sun-dried tomato is bringing all the sweetness you could ever need. And the pork is bringing the substance, the flavor and the bread. Well, like I said, that is just ticking every box I need from a sandwich. Toasted to perfection. Seven euro, wow. Mega. That pork as well. Let's try some individually. It's not too fatty. Super tender. So, you want a great description of what kind of what I'm eating here, a little bit. A hog roast would be like the Wildstone Raider. Your basic village fate hog roast. That's the Wildstone Raider. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah? Callum, do you want to get two uh, pictures on the screen right now? That is your local hog roast, the Wildstone Raider. This, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can't compare the two. This obliterates it, and they've even thrown in some of that pork skin crackling. My God, this is where it gets even better. We actually have, this is way off the tourist streets, by the way. They've got some terrible parking going on there. Oh. They've just given up. If the handbrake is on, they're trying to drive. Terrible. Okay, let's just carry on. Ignore the parking. This is way off the, uh, the tourist street. I hope you can appreciate that. We're doing our best. Oh my God! To uncover these hidden gems. Now, Callum. Spoiler alert, I've already had some. Um, we have this mystery uh, drink. Chinoto. Chinoto. The mystery drink. <laughs> I've had a sip. This is a Roman drink, yeah? Do you know what, what's in it? Uh, uh, you know, uh, orange. Orange, yeah. Lemon. Orange and lemon. 
Destinato is a, the, the family. Like citrus? Yeah. It also tastes a bit like cola. No, yeah, but it's a similar, ah, similar, yeah. similar properties, but it's, it's a bit fruity. In England, we have something called dandelion and burdock, which is very similar, but not as good. This is, this is better. I'll do one more final sip for you guys now. Ooh, better than dandelion and burdock. Mm. It's stunning, people. It has, now we said lemon and, it's kind of like a smoky burnt lemon flavor to it. A bit, a bit, that's it. Bitters. It has its very, it has a very unique aftertaste, super refreshing, very delicious and super authentic to this wonderful, beautiful city. We've had such a great time. We've still got a couple more reviews to do, but we had to tick this place off. We, I feel like I'm really sitting at a, a legendary spot. This in the, the shop has been on the Food Network. Anthony Wardain signature on the wall. We've got some fantastic um, history to the place. Eating the sandwich, you know, such a simple thing. You wouldn't believe, would you, that that is a legend right there. No sauce, no butter. No sort of anything else to it. No sort of jazz or no like cocktail sticks in the top with any other bullshit. Just great food. Great food done to the next level. Thanks for watching everyone. So let's do a little score. I am gonna give this a 9.6. Loved every minute of it. The drink for me really bumped it up. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. If you're coming to Rome, give this place a visit, please. If you've enjoyed any part of this review, subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a little thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, do your thing. Uh, from Callum behind the camera, me in front of it, that was a review. People licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch, so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.